Ladies and gentlemen, today we are into biology paper 1 2023 GCE. Let's see how many questions we can tackle in less than 10 minutes. In less than like I said. All right. So, our first question says some lizards detach their tails when they threatened by a predator. Which characteristics of a living organism is shown? All right. Well, let's say yourself when you get threatened by someone, what happens like they're saying that they raise their tail, right? Like they, they detach their tail. It's like they break their tail and their tail remains alone. That is sensitivity. That is irritability. Get the concept, right? That is it. Sensitivity. So question one is D. The diagram shows a plant and an animal cell. Question two now. Which of the following, which of the labeled structures is found in both cells? All right. So we can clear this that W is a cell X is the chloroplast. Z is the that's a nucleus. Sorry, the vacuum. YY is the cytoplasm. Now, cytoplasma is found both in animal and uh, plant cells. So Y here is the correct one because you can't find chloroplast in animals. You can't find a vacuum in a chloroplast. Sorry, in an animal cell. It's quite strange. Which of the following is not a tissue? Which of the following is not a tissue? A leaf, a leaf is not a tissue, it's an organ. So C is the answer. Diagram, so the graph shows how pH affects the rate of an enzyme controlled reaction, which later on the graph shows the optimum pH. So optimum pH is a pH at which enzymes work the best, and that is C. Question five. The table shows the results of some food tests, which sample shows food containing both starch and proteins. So when something contains its proteins, and, and what color does it show? And when something contains the starch, what color does it show? So when something contains proteins, all right, it turns purple, all right, it turns what? Purple. But for starch, it's blue black all right and for proteins we use the burette reagent and for starch we use iodine solution are we there right so that's our question five when you go on question a most of so, uh, solution a has got blue blue clear blue blue black now benedict Benedict solution is not used to test for proteins. Are we there, right? Benedict solution is used to test for what? Reducing sugars. Now, when we go to B, blue means not present. So for, for purple means it's present, even for this one means present. But blue means not present. This one yellow or brown means not present. So blue means not present. Burette reagent, it has to be purple. That's what we said. Then in ethanol, it has to be clear, and in iodine, blue black. So, in case that our answer is D, there. Question six Which nutrient is needed to make the hemoglobin in red blood cells? Which nutrient is needed to make hemoglobin? A red component that is found in your blood. All right. That one, we need what? Iron, which is B. Question seven. A plant has weak cell walls. Which of the following nutrient was the plant lacking? So when a plant has weak cell walls, that uh, plant is just lacking from what? Calcium. Because calcium is responsible for making strong roots, strong walls, and so on. Question X says, the diagram shows a section through a leaf. Which arrow represents the diffusion of oxygen during photosynthesis now during photosynthesis does oxygen go out or go in you are going to discover that oxygen comes out all right oxygen does what it comes out so our answer is a oxygen comes out because carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis that's how come carbon dioxide the arrow is going that arrow going in there that's for carbon dioxide 
Question 9. A tick of feeding on the blood. Sorry, a tick feeding on the blood of a dog is an example of A. Commensalism, B. Mutualism, C. Plastism, and D. Predation. Alright, so here it's actually uh, plastism because a tick is a parasite. Right, now, what is mutualism? Mutualism is where something it feeds on an organism, but not only does that benefit from that organism, that organism which is being fed by that other uh, creature is also benefiting, so it's a mutual thing. But commensalism, it's where one benefit while the other one does not. So that's what we are saying. This is B. Question 10. The dent formula of a dog is incisors x over 3, canine 1 over 1, premolars 4 over 4, and molars 2 over 3. The total number of teeth in the mouth of the dog is 42. Find the value of what? Of um, x. So I'll just erase this part so that we can do the calculations together properly. So we are, here is how we are going to do it. So we have, the, they're saying the total number of teeth in the mouth is 42. So we are going to add everything and we're going to multiply by 2. Then we're going to equate to 30, to 42. Why are we doing that? Because when we talk of the dent formula, it, it, or it is only concerned with the, the half of the mouth. Half of the mouth. So on top there I've got OX plus 1 plus 4 plus 2. All right. We add this, then everything we multiply by what? 2. Then next, you've got 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 3, which is the down part. We also multiply this by 2. So this is 5, and uh, that is 7 plus x. So x plus 7, we multiply by 2. We add even this one plus. This is what? Um, this is 5. That is 8. That is like 11. 11 times 2, we get what? 22. This is equal to 42. You get right. So the, even this one is being multiplied by 2. So we've got 2x plus 14 plus 22 is equal to 42. So 2x is equal to. So we can add this one. This is 6. And that is what? 3. So we subtract those two. I'm getting 6. Yeah. I'm getting 6 so over 2, over 2. So you can see that x is what? 3. So that is the value of x. That is what? From the diagram there, we can catch that that is our b. So thank you so much for following me in this video. And I really hope that you enjoyed the video. It's previous Twitter, your best one and daughter.